going on guys? My name is Coach Chad Oxford, Ball, Ball Built for Theme Park News, and welcome to another Halloween update. This on the opening times, dates, and some information and predicting the lineup for Alton Towers Scarefest 2020. Now, before we get started, like the video if you've loved it, comment your thoughts down below, and subscribe to Coast to Channel YouTube channel, and also click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. But now let's zoom into this thrilling news update from Alton Towers Scarefest. Now we've only just passed the 2019 Scarefest event and we're now going to get straight into predicting 2020 Scarefest. Now there's been some massive highlights from Scarefest 2019. I personally didn't go myself this year however I've heard some massive highlights such as Darkest Depths being a big success for the families. We also had the Attic Tower of the Towers making its debut and that getting good reviews. Subspecies getting good reviews. Alterville Mind Tours getting good reviews. Project 42 back at it again this year after debuting at the park last year. Um, and just overall a good event. Overall a great event. Now we do have some information on the newly updated Alton Towers website. Um, we've got the Spine Tingling Terror. Uh, now there's no mazes actually on there. They've just got the prices on there. Um, and also they've got the family stuff which they've labelled Halloween Spooktacular on the website which for those of you who are diehard fans of Alton Towers will know was the early name for the Halloween event before it became Scarefest. It was known for a couple of years uh, as Halloween Spooktacular then it came back uh, after a few years as Scarefest. So I think that was a nice historic touch especially with it. I think they did that because it's the 40th anniversary next year. So I think going back to that name Halloween Spooktacular for the family stuff uh, it was a good move for Alton Towers. I don't, I don't know if that's just a website thing, but I just thought it was kind of ironic. So uh, I'm going to put the website in the description down below this video so you can go and check all that news out and all that jazz. But let's go with some details, some stats that we know about the times, and also some details from the website about the Scarefest event next year. So starting off with the dates for next year's event. So the dates for Alton Towers Scarefest is the 9th to the 11th of October the 16th to the 18th of October, and then the 22nd of October, all the way to the 1st of November. Day passes start from £34 per person, £34, uh, suitable for families and thrill seekers. Uh, and like I said, the spine tingling terror part of the website actually doesn't say anything um, specific about the mazes. Uh, it just says Scarefest returns to Alton Towers Resort on selected dates in October slash November with more spine tingling terrors than ever before. And I'll speak about that in a little bit. They take on the resort's world class thrill rides and attractions in the dark, including Wicker Man and the Alton Towers Dungeon. So, the one day pass uh, for the theme park is online from £34. You can save over £20 per person when booking in advance. Under threes go to the theme park free. And there's also a rainy day guarantee where you get a free return visit. Uh, there is also uh, things like the premium season pass that we talked about with the £75. Uh, free standard car parking, valid during 2020, including summer and weekends and scare fest. And also entry into the Alton Towers Dungeon. I'm going to recap that again in a separate video where we'll talk about the opening dates and times for Alton Towers, including the season pass details and stuff as well. And there's also the short break prices, £42 per person. Uh, st staying for days, fantabulous overnight stay on the doorstep of the theme park and enjoy amazing evening entertainment. Now the spooktacular, the Halloween spooktacular, the family stuff. Old Town Scarefest is the must do Halloween event. Join Franklin, Skelvin, Patch, Phil and Gretel in their colourful Halloween playland with four shows full of fun and silliness. Patch's Halloween party is bigger and better than ever. Young families can also take part in the CBB's Monsters Ball. Dance along with our favourite dancing flash mob of ancestors, plus, 20, uh, plus round over 20 attractions at dusk. So, it seems to me that they've pretty much confirmed we're going to have the CBB's Monsters Ball, four shows, and it's all involved in this sort of Patches Halloween party. So, first of all, I think the dates are pretty good. Obviously, we know that... Uh, if you've, if and again, again, another uh, sort of teaser for that video about the opening times and dates for the park. Sixth till the eighth of November is the uh, fireworks, because uh, the park begins on the twenty first of March, uh, and it sort of ends on the eighth of November. So you've got three days of fireworks uh, after a few days after Scarefest finishes on the first of November. Uh, so again, following the same pattern as Thought Park Friday nights. Again, I'll do those dates in a separate video. 
Uh, but yeah, basically, all task FS finishes on the first of uh, first November, um, and then of course um, you've got six to the eighth of November for the fireworks. So. Uh, Alton Towers Resort really vary the dates there. Now in terms of the lineup, I think a lot of people are thinking either Subspecies or Autoville Mind Tours will bite the dust next year, uh, or for next year's event. Uh, I'm thinking with them saying more spine tingling horrors, I've got a feeling they're not going to remove stuff but rather add to it. Could we see the return of the scare zones? Could Zombie Scare Zone come back to the resort? Now that last operated a few years ago now. Um, and I've seen some pictures on social media, people taking like shots like close into the fence. And you can literally see that that site, Zombie Scare Zone site, has been left really abandoned, I guess. Um, so I'd like to see them open that up again and, and reopen the Zombie Scare Zone. Maybe give it a new storyline, maybe give it a new lease of life, but get the Scare Zone back up and running again. Because uh, I feel like the Scare Zones were a massive part of Alton Tower Scare Fest. You look at uh, Freak Show, if you don't know where that was, that was... Uh, it was it, well, I think recently it's now like uh, Roman characters, but it was like for a couple of years it was a good scare zone. Um, basically on the path linking Spinball Wizard over to where X Sector is, so eventually onto X Sector. So it sort of connected that side of the park. Uh, and literally it was like Universal Halloween Horror Night style. They had like little stands for the actors to stand on. Uh, and they're sort of, you know, weaving, and the sort of actors weaving in about the pathway. Uh, it was very Halloween Horror Night style. Uh, and it was a really good scare zone from what I saw from the footage and from reviews. Obviously still yet to do it myself. But, you know, I think Scarefest, you know, I really wanted to do Scarefest this year. But I think with it being the 40th anniversary next year, I think Scarefest may be a must do for me personally uh, next year. So, uh, should be interesting to figure out what else is going to go down for Scarefest next year. Uh, make sure you share your predictions in the comments down below. Make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment your thoughts down below. Shoutouts go to Brian Galeas, Falco Flair and Stagbury. Your shoutouts will now be at the end of a video. So stay tuned uh, for your shoutouts. If you want to comment down below your shoutouts, you can do. Uh, and put them in for the next video. Uh, but for now, guys, my name is Coach Chai YouTube channel. Don't go to the board, but built for theme park news. Keep living the coast alive. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.